Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the weekly JJK spoilers. It is now chapter 238. In the previous chapter, we get to see Cosimo's curse technique as well as seeing Sukuna's true form. We also have Hakari versus Uraume on the side, so I can't wait to see that. That chapter was pretty good. In this chapter, I hope we get an explanation on Sukuna's curse technique. But before we jump into the spoilers, as always click the subscribe button if you haven't subbed yet, or at least leave a like. If you guys already done that, let's jump into the spoilers. So the chapter is open with Kasimu using X-ray vision to analyze Sukuna, but he only comes to one conclusion, that he is perfect. The narrator just explained that even if Sukuna had to use hand sign, his other two hands will be free. He can use non-stop chance without straining his lungs due to having more mouth. He is just more superior than any other sorcerers. Then we get to see a brief Sukuna's backstory, I guess. Sukuna had finished off the five void generals and sun, moon, and star squad of North Fujiwara clan and also made the Desichin squad of Sugawara clan and Angel from Abe clan retreat. Kasimo is mesmerized and calls Sukuna beautiful and then proceeds to attack but Sukuna grabs Kasimo and punches him away. Sukuna begins chanting the attack while warning Kasimo to dodge it. Sukuna launches a huge dismantle slash Kasimo realized that this is the attack that end Gojo Satoru. Kasimo calls that attack as slash that cuts the world. Sukuna then says that a stupid person once tried to teach him love and said he is alone because there is no person on his level. Sukuna says she chose the wrong person to teach love and should have told it to Gojo or Kasimo. Kasimo and Sukuna then went on a brief hand-to-hand -hand combat, but Sukuna overwhelmed Kashimo. Just then, Sukuna sent this mantle in the form of a net. Sukuna begins to preach Kashimo, who is now in his original form. So this is like the Gojo death imagery, I guess. Sukuna says Kashimo must be challenged by many guys in attempt to get acknowledged from him and Kasimo must have killed those people by his hands Sukuna then asks if that is not showing mercy then what else is Kasimo referred back to the current form as Sukuna continued to say that we the strongest are loved because of our strength then why worry about loneliness Kasimo then asks if Sukuna is satisfied why did he travel to the current time by splitting his soul. Sukuna says after understanding he can now declare that love is trash. Sukuna says he never thought of being satisfied by others. He eats when he wants to, he'll kill if someone is an eyesore or play if someone seems fun. He just lives at his own scale. And if others can measure up to him then it's their problem. When Kasimo asks if he was bored, Sukuna says, The flavor of humans are diverse and ephemeral. It is perfect to spin on it and kill time until he dies. Back to reality. The domain which trapped Hakari and Uraume breaks, and Sukuna notices someone's arrival. Itadori Yuji and, Hig and Higuruma arrived at the battlefield. But Sukuna shit talks Yuji saying, what could you possibly even do, Brad? And that's it. I gotta say, Casimo is not measuring to my exp is not measuring for is not measuring to my expectation. Since he is hyped with this one time curse technique use, I would have expected him to deal significant damage to Sukuna. But it seems Sukuna didn't even re receive any damage from Kashimo. And now the main character is here, Itadori. 
and looks like his hand has claws so i don't know what what's the matter with that but i am looking forward two weeks from now since next week is break week what do you guys think about this chapter tell me in the comment section below if you guys like this video leave a like and that's it for this video see you guys next time